southeast of Colorado Springs, northeast of Pueblo. We're here at the site where we built the first alert Doppler. It's an ideal location because it's elevated above the surrounding land and it's set back from the mountains, giving our Doppler radar a great view of the skies in every direction. Its position, combined with its power, allows us to see storms live in real time long before they move into our viewing area, and we're tracking them every step of the way. From the outside, our Doppler radar looks like a golf ball on a tee, a huge dome perched on top of a 50-foot tower. So what's going on inside that allows us to give you the first alert of approaching weather? Inside the dome, an eight-foot radar dish is constantly rotating up to three times per minute or once every 20 seconds. It sends out a beam that reads or sees the weather conditions and reports back. Now, I won't get too technical, but using the scientific principles of reflectivity and the Doppler effect, our radar is constantly sending out and receiving signals that are put together into a clear picture of what's going on out there, live right now. All types of useful data pours in from the first alert Doppler all the time, always live. Obviously, that includes a real-time look at dangerous storm cells, but it also includes countless critical details like wind speeds at different elevations or wind shear, which can alert us to a storm's rotation to a potential tornado. This is a huge advantage over the other stations who still rely on information from government radars that's five to 10 minutes old. From an ideal location, the first alert Doppler is always watching, always scanning our skies, giving Mike Daniels, Mike Madsen and me up to the second details so we can always give you the early warning. Thanks, Craig. And now we'll hear from the chief meteorologist at WLEX-TV in Kentucky about how having a live Doppler radar makes all the difference. 